Hello guys, welcome to Digital World and today in this video you're gonna see how to pass HTML files to your web server using Node.js and I am a guide to Yahoo and so let's begin. So what you have to do at first you have to create a file named server.js. Okay, I have created already. I will start coding from the first. Here I have a HTML file for you where it's written that passing HTML file a heading. Okay, so here I will write variable HTTP. HTTP equals to require sorry require HTTP. Here it's done. And now we have to pass that file with the help of a module named file system which is fs variable fs equals to require fs now it's done now we have to create the server http dot create server here we have to call a function i'm calling our function we have two parameters which are respond and request so here call the function here i have to call one more function which will be a fs function which will read the file so fs dot read file i want that fs will read html dot html file so dot slash html dot html okay it's done now we have to call a function in this function we have two parameters which is error comma data now here we have to write respond dot write data sorry respond dot write data and return Respond dot end. Here it is. Now, just run it with the help of NodeMon. If you have NodeMon installed in your PC, then you have to write NodeMon on i, sorry, NodeMon server dot js. If you don't have installed, then you have to write npm i node mon minus t okay i have node mon installed in my pc so i will write node mon servo dot js okay now it's done oh whoa, i forgot to listen the code number so i will listen it to code number 9000 okay then i was save and now I will go to local host now 9000. Let's switch to it. Here you can see a pass HTML file. Passing the HTML file, this HTML file is being passed. Here, if I write passed in this project and save it and now if I read this piece then you can see past in this project so thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel or like my videos and comment on my videos this gives me inspiration so thanks for watching this video and keep supporting me and in next video, we will see how to make your own module in new chairs. Thanks for watching again.